Well, good morning, everybody. I wanted to stop in, let you guys know. Look, my hat's all weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm representing Texas, as you can tell, my Dallas Cowboy and my Houston Astros. Uh, the reason for the video today is I wanted to stop in. I'm finally feeling better from my, uh, my battle with COVID. Uh, I've had COVID now for, oof, uh, I guess, darn near uh, two weeks. And uh, I finally, I've been spoke. I, I was in charge of doing the training videos, and honestly, I apologize. I just have not felt up to it. But today is a different day, so let's try to get this done. I know there's been a lot of confusion on what e pins are, how to make deposits, how to maneuver in your back office with all the new changes that we put in there. So I wanted just to take you through it real quick and see what it's all about. Oh, in case you don't know who I am. My name is John Arnold. I'm a co-founder here. So um, with that said, let me just go ahead and jump into here. Uh, now, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. And this will be my back office to one of my accounts. Now, let's explain and just go through it real quick. I'm gonna keep, try to keep this to 15 minutes. And it really is that simple. You have three different boxes here. Your blue box, which is gives you representation of how much you've earned in your account. If you want details of what's in there, where it is, you go to this little part right here where it says total earning, and it will give you a breakdown of how your uh, earnings were earned. Um, here in the red box is the total referrals. This will actually tell you, uh, like I piffed some of these people, so. Um, you can tell who they are, their email address, so that you can get in contact with them. Uh, if you use the global PIF to PIF people that you do not know who they are, and PIF stands for pay it forward, you pay for somebody that you do not know to participate in the program. Uh, I would think that you would want to get in contact with them to let them know that, hey, my name is so-and-so, my name's John, uh, I paid for you to get in. I'm your sponsor. If you need any help, if you need to understand something, please contact me. All the communication can be done by email. Very simple, non-intrusive way. It'll also give you the date that they joined as well. All right. <clears throat> and your green box is for how many total positions you have. Now, when you go to your positions, you'll be able to see where they are at what cycle. Now I know it says level one, level two, level three. Those are cycle one, cycle two, cycle three. When you're looking at your individual matrix, what the key that you're looking for is the bottom eight people. Once, if you remember the charts, it takes eight people to catapult you from one cycle to the next. So as you're looking through your different matrices, you can see this one and level one, remember there's three positions here. So it's showing me where all three positions are. This one's already been filled up on the last one, which is the very first position. You can see that there is nobody in these positions. That's because they have not started filling up yet. As new members come in, they will fall into different positions in different matrices. When you start filling up, you'll be able to see when you're going to cycle to the next cycle. So once this last position right here gets filled up, get ready because you're getting ready to move up to the next cycle. Now, if you'll notice on the left-hand side, I keep using my member home button to bring me back to the beginning. I like using this. This is your members menu, and there's all of your control buttons that are right here to be able to manipulate and maneuver the back office that you have. So let us say that uh, you want to get ready for the next round of global piffing. We've already tried to instruct everybody that do not use a credit card to piff. 
don't do it. It's better if you're going to do that to deposit, deposit funds in your account first. So if you have a certain amount of um, piffing that you want to do, you know that each person is $6 to piff. So if you want to piff 10 people, go ahead and use the second button right here that says deposit funds and just put in the amount that you want to put in, which is $60. If you're going to do 10, if you're going to do five, it's 30. If you're just going to do one, it's six. But just keep in mind, in order to make this deposit, there is handling fees. We are not the bank. We are not the payment processor. We simply receive the funds. So there is a 5% five deposit, deposit fee. Well, how much is 5%? If you're going to do $60 or 10 PIFs, 10% would be $6. 5% would be $3. So in order for you to be able to prepare your account for that next round of global PIFI, you want to make sure that you deposit the amount that it would cost to pay for the positions plus the 5%. In this case, it would be $63 that you would deposit in your account. That would cover the fee that the processor guys, I wish there was somewhere around it, but there's not. Um, and we'd be able to get that out of the way and you'd have the full amount in your account. Now, just because you hit amount deposit and it goes through and it shows, yes, it process does not mean the amount is in your account. Remember, just like any credit card that you use anywhere in any store, you'll see it on your bank statement as hold. That means sometimes it takes 24 hours, 48 hours for the bank to process that off your credit card and actually send the money to the merchant. So please, before you start piffing and before you start sending in support tickets because you don't see the money there, give it 48 hours for the deposit to process through the banking system and into your account. And the way you'll know it's been done is because you'll see the amount right here. You can also track your deposit history right here. As you see, I have, no, I have not made any deposits yet, and not in this account anyway. Now, that is how you deposit. Go deposit funds, put in the amount, make sure you figure out the 5%. And remember, it's very simple. It's just, I like to use round numbers. So for every $100, 5% is $5. So if it's $60, 60, 10% of 60 is six, 5% of that or half of that is three. If you're just gonna do one, $6, one pith, the 5% of $6, would be what? 60, 30 cents. So you'd want to deposit $6.30 to cover the 5%. All right. I hope that was simple enough for that. And I'm going to shut that video off and then we'll make another video on how to purchase e pins. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Let's knock it out right now. So everybody's been talking about e pins. What is so great about e pins? E-pins are a way for you to gift people and make sure that the coding goes to you as their sponsor. Everything happens from your back office. So once you've logged into your back office, simply go to purchase E-pins. You can purchase as many E-pins as you want, but do not do so unless you have money in your account, whether it's been earned through the program or you deposited funds, please make sure that you have your ePINs set up first. I know we have the credit card feature on here. I totally understand that. But 
it takes it, it or you can use it, but you're going to have to wait the 48 hours before it credit card uh, processes. So keep that in mind. No problem with using your credit card, but use the credit card to put deposits in your account. That way you avoid all the delays and all the headaches. Okay, but back to purchasing e-pins. E-pin is like a QR code. It's a specially coded code designed for you to share with somebody so that they can go in and purchase the position. What in essence you're doing is you are prepaying for a position that you're going to give away to somebody. No, it does not lock in the position. It does not get activated till it's actually used. And it's only good for one usage. So you can go in here and say, um, I want to purchase 10 coats. Then you can go and go to a woman's shelter, for instance, and with a laptop, with your phone, and give it to needy people there. You can go to a school for uh, in, your, in your community and uh, go give it to one of the teachers and say, hey, um, this is for, uh, I want to go ahead and give these positions to you to use for kids that are in um, uh, economically disadvantaged homes. That's You can do all kinds of things with these. But remember, each e-pin is good for one usage only, one person. And we really want you to use it for new people, to bring new people in. Once you've purchased your pins, you can go to the next one right below purchase e-pins, my e-pins. And it tells you how many codes you have available to use. Some people have bought multiple times and they're using their pins in different manners, like little cards and giving out certain ways. I want to emphasize for you folks that you want to be, make sure that when you use these e-pins and give them out to people, that they do use them because otherwise they just sit there taking up space or they get lost and they don't get used. And then you're, everybody's wondering what's going on. Why hasn't my e-pin been used? Well, when you give that to somebody, it's best if you, with them, on your phone, go ahead and sign them up right then and there and show them how to use the e-pin, how to use their e-code. That way you ensure that not only did your e-pin get utilized, you have somebody that has signed up properly and that your sponsorship is secured for that individual as well. So that's the quick how-to video for today. I know it wasn't quick. I've never been one that's been uh, short-winded. I'm usually kind of long-winded because I try to be very detail-oriented. This is, uh, we're going to call it a moment with Jasa since Elton called me out and wanted more moments with Jasa. I'm not cooking today. I will try to get back to cooking, uh, but I'm not going to do that today uh, um, just because I've got so much to catch up on. I'm way behind, and I apologize to everybody for not putting out all the videos that I need to put out. But uh, thank you, guys. You know, we're making a difference. We're over 14,000 members now. We're growing quite exponentially. Um, Right now, we are so focused on making sure that everything gets done for the payments so that you can have the validation that everybody was waiting for to see and see just how real this program is and uh, be prepared because we're here for the long run. We're going to change lives together. This is John Arnold, co-founder of It'sOnly5.com. Remember, I love you. Have a great day.